What's up, y'all? This is Redneck Cook Dipper channel here. I'm doing a dip review, like I promised y'all. I'm here with my brother Jason. Uh, we're in this room chilling right now. What time is it? 9:02. It's about it's nine o'clock. Um, and I remember on a video previously that I told y'all that um, I was gonna do another dip review on some grizzly mint. Well. It is uncorrect. Okay. So I'm going to be cracking that today. Drinking some good old Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, as you say. And, um, let's go ahead and crack it. Give this a fat one. <coughs> he won't, Jason won't be dipping this. Because um, his guns kind of hurt a little bit and all that. So, here we go. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. It's an orgasmic sound. Yeah, that's what Outlaw says. Alright, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's correct. Let's go and get a smell of this. <coughs> I think one thing, I know two things. It's pretty dry, but it's full to the brim. Check it out. I ain't even packed it. It's not very moist. I know. <coughs> well, let me shut up and do a deeper view. I'm sorry, I'm real jackable Mountain Dew. <laughs> Pretty hard to pinch with this full, full to the brim. You putting that much in? That good enough? Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Didn't you say you were gonna make one something about a spit bottle? But you don't have to have a mojo to be a dipper. Yeah. That's something I want to talk to y'all about, too. Um, before I do this dip review. <coughs> See, I'm not trying to hate on that law. But. He says, if you ain't got a mud you ain't a real dipper. And I don't understand. He's, he's saying that. Because he's trying to advertise for mud jug and get people to buy them. Well, <coughs> my theory is mud jugs are really hard to clean. And I really think that they're really pieces of shit. You know. I know they don't spill. I know they don't <coughs> Excuse me and all that, but why the hell use them when you can get a bottle from a store that's way cheaper than a mud jug and fill it up and then throw it away? You know? Alright, now I got that out of the way. I'll do this review. Uh, packability. It packs okay. I give it about a seven. Um, it pack. Yeah, I mean it packs all right. I mean you might get some flutters. I don't have flutters right now, but yeah. Pensibility. It's okay. I mean for grizzly mint, they're always dry. I don't have no idea why they are. And. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention to y'all. I just got a new phone, so I'm trying to speed it up. Yeah, he's, yeah. Um, most of the stuff I'm saying, he, he would agree. But his grizzly mint is dry, wouldn't you say? Oh, hell yeah. It's always dry. It's always been dry since I've, since I've been getting it. Um, uh, pen, yeah, it's pretty, I mean, I'll give it about a six. 
Let's see, it's somewhat a lot of flavor. You can more, you can taste more of the tobacco than you can the mint flavoring. I mean, it's doable for me. It's doable for me, but it's really personal. Personally, not my favorite. Now I know some baseball players that did this, and I mean I don't know how I'm going. I just don't have know how they do it. Maybe it don't generate a lot of juice or something, and it did spit on the field. I don't know. Um, I mean, uh, I did flavor. <laughs> Um, buzz, <coughs> buzz feeling, I don't feel anything from Grizzly Mint, especially in the morning, like, I don't, I never feel anything from Grizzly Mint, never have. Now, if you wake up early in the morning and put in a pinch of, like, moist Grizzly Winter Green, you're gonna be fucked up. Either that, or Copenhagen Mint, which I just recently found out, um, it's pretty, it's pretty bad, I mean, pretty good buzz in the morning. <laughs> and, um. And then aftertaste, it's a really shitty aftertaste, to be honest with y'all guys. I mean, it's pretty bad. It's like a real shitty tobacco, minty aftertaste. You really don't even know what it is to be. So, well, that's my tip review. Grizzly Mint Long Cut. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. My brother Jason, check his channels out. Channels. He's got Jake Boris, he's doing DVD and movie reviews, and he's got one Backwoods Cope Dipper. He just recently made that, so go check that channel and subscribe it. Alright, y'all, have a great next day. Great next day.